this year we got to see and experience some of Spain's best and most luxurious homes. And Casa Olivia is no different. However, no matter how big or luxurious a property can be, what truly matters is the people you share it with. And therefore, this Christmas season, I would like to wish you all to embrace the warmth of a home and the people you love. Not just this festive season, but also every day of the year. It is my privilege to present you Casa Olivia. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casa Olivia, an oasis of luxury and elegance nestled in the Mediterranean landscapes perched high above the famous La Quinta Golf Course, overlooking the incredible panoramic sea views. This home features cinema, spa, heated pools and much more. In this Christmas episode, we are very excited to present you Villa Olivia. Let's start with the tour for today. All right, everybody, and as usual, we are starting this tour full of energy and smiles from the exterior of the property. As you can see, it's typical Andalusian style when you look out from the facade, from the exterior. However, inside it has many surprises waiting for us, which you are about to see during the store. But before we go inside, let's quickly talk about the outside. First of all, on my left hand side, we have a black steel gate opening up into your motor court, your driveway, which leads you down into your at least four cars parking space garage. The second entrance would be your pedestrian entrance into this house, which leads you into the grand door of the property. Now the third entrance would be another motorized gate opening up into the second space where you can park even more cars. So plenty of space if you want to invite your guests to enjoy the beauty of this home. One of the things that I really appreciate about this property is the manicured garden and the vegetation that has been planted into this property, but also preserved from the nature that was already here when this house was being built. We'll check out more of them as we go along into the garden. But now let's step in through with me, Tima, follow me so we can show everybody this grand entrance of the property. Check out these columns. How is that for an entrance of your property? Definitely impressive. So let's not wait any longer and step inside. Entering with the solid wood door. I love how they preserved those Spanish touches into this beautiful home. So first thing we enter into this grand for you. What a beautiful entrance with a highlight right above me, bringing in light into the space at any time of the day. On my right hand side, you have one of the focal points of this house, this gorgeous staircase, which leads you up into the second part of this house, right in the center. What an outstanding piece of marble, which is your fireplace connecting the entrance, the foyer, together with the living room. Because Dima, if you go down, you'll be able to see that this fireplace goes directly into your living room. So you can enjoy it both from this space as well as from your formal dining room. Love the space. Now, before we continue with the tour, I would like to mention some specs about this house. First of all, we are located on a plot of 10,000 
square meters with the internal build of 1014 square meters. With seven bedrooms and eight bathrooms, this house is on the market for 9 million euros. And we are seeing this property today thanks to Karen Yellen from Cleox Inversiones. And so let's continue further with our tour. And shall we start? Where shall we start from? In the kitchen. Of course, because it is the soul of this home. Voila, first of all, open shelving on my right hand side with the indirect LED lights and the gorgeous decorations, the oak wood throughout, and these, ladies and gentlemen, wardrobes close in a very original and space saving manner, which I really like. Do you, Dima? You do. Everybody would, I think. And now I don't even know where to begin. This kitchen, I'm sure it's the biggest kitchen we've ever seen. Must be, right? Yeah. Exactly. So let's start from the fact that we have this enormous island right in the middle. It must be, it must be five meters long. Natural stone. Check this out, guys. This is the first time we are seeing these gas stoves, the Bora extractor built in. And all this kitchen is covered in natural oak wood. Over here we have the Gagonau coffee machine, plenty of built-ins, check out all these spaces with already separated shelves, all ready for you to move in. Soft clothes, of course, your oven, all brand new. All right, oh, and here we have the plate warmer. Thanks to all of you guys who left a comment on Villa White video about the play warmer, now we know. Inbuilt sink over here, continuation of the natural stone as in the island on the other side. Here we have the windows going out into the front of your property. So whilst you're washing up the dishes, you can see who is entering or coming back into the house. Also the wood used in the windows, in all the windows in this house is Iroko wood, so pretty solid and I love how it just contrast nicely with the oak wood which goes throughout the whole of the space. Now here again underlit beautifully with the LED lights in the night when we will turn off all the main lights the LEDs will give us that romantic vibe but we'll check that. Now continuing through into this section here we have the dining area which is an original space because transferring from the kitchen here we have the double height ceiling with this light fixture hanging right above the table in the middle and these three windows bringing in plenty of light and nature from the outside. Now, this kitchen is also connected to the outside terrace where we have the outdoor kitchen, the barbecue and the outside dining area. But before we step outside there, let's continue through and go back into the grand foyer so we can explore the living and the dining area. Now, voila, here we are back at the grand entrance. On my right hand side, just of the kitchen, we also have a powder bathroom, which is great for your guests to use as soon as they enter. They don't have to interfere with the rest of the house, just straight onto the powder bathroom. Now, the entrance to this living dining area is separated by this grand chimney, which we saw as we entered into the house with these two doors that lead you right in to the living and the dining area. Now let's explore the space first from this dining area. Two steps down, Dima, step in with me. Let's appreciate the art pieces and the decorations that has been carefully chosen into the space by a Dutch artist whose name we were not told. Oh well, some things in life we will never get answers to, and this is one of them. Now, look at these light fixtures. I mean, how gorgeous, beautiful they are from Strode actually, and the chandeliers. What I also love about the space is this grand mirror reflecting the views we get from this picture window right opposite. So all this space brings plenty of light, especially in the morning because this house looks straight into the sea and that's where we have incredible sunrises. Now here we are finally at the official entertaining space, which is your living area. 
now two sofas facing each other which is something that i find very uniting i can imagine just having your other part of the family sitting on the other side and discussing instead of looking at the tv you look each other in the eyes and of course the fireplace right behind tima to warm up all the space and now opposite here we have this gorgeous open shelving with these amazing decorations and the little light fixtures right above each space dima do you know how to turn it on no i don't know okay well let's see guys if i can find a solution well we'll have to make sure to check that out later for you but now for some diversity shall we step on and check out the outside space so you can see the lovely sunset which is happening right now vamos what an amazing weather we have here in spain guys december merry christmas one more time to everybody who is watching our channel thank you for all the people who were with me on this journey and to the one person that has made it all possible if you're watching this you know it's for you and of course to all of you guys for all your lovely support that you're giving us and we really appreciate it and now let's step further here we have your outdoor kitchen which we saw connected with your main kitchen we have the air egg barbecue the fridge plenty of storage this lovely wood table over here we even have a chocomel dima was it you drinking it no. <laughs> someone has been naughty this christmas and is not getting a present i think it's genial and now let's step back into this space and check out the first main entertaining section which is connecting us to the dining area and this is the outdoor dining area with a seating for eight motorized pregola right above which is great for the sunny days which you get pretty much all the year around here in Costa del Sol and now stepping through is your main outside area and i mean what a space to enjoy these incredible views you even have a carpet laid out super cozy and welcoming i love this space and now let's step through over into your last your last outdoor space which is called your informal maybe kind of a chilling area here is where you would have a drink with your friends or just enjoy this table for whatever you want it to be and now let's step down into your main and second level of this outside space which is your swimming pool it is heated so you can enjoy it throughout the whole year even now in december when in the evening gets a little bit chilly on the other side you have some outdoor furniture which are looking out, of course, to the incredible views of La Quinta. Here, even more sunbed, so you can bring all your friends to enjoy the warm, sunny days in this space. Now, what I love about this outdoor space, for some reason, which is very effectful, if that's a word. Tima, is this a word? Well. No, <laughs> okay, it's not a word. It's very impactful. It's an impactful space due to these two columns holding the whole of the out upstairs main bedroom stairs, which we are about to explore very soon. Maybe it's also the marble, which we even have on the outside of the property, together with this warm color furniture that adds up to what it is a truly exquisite outdoor space. Now here, walking further along, we have these two lovely swings. Dima, would you like to join me? So from today on, I am the operator, I'm the main cameraman, and here we have the new presenter. Dima, would you like to say something? No. <laughs> okay, I feel my hand is going numb, so please, if you want to save the camera. <laughs> All right, everybody, back to the normal arrangement, which is me on the camera and Dima behind. Now, what I mentioned in the beginning in this vid of this video was that I really love the way that this garden was landscaped. And here you can see the result of that even more than in the front of the property. Well, Dima, come through with me so we can just have a small peek into what this house has to offer in terms of space. 
of course automatic irrigation check out how perfectly it has been just freshly cut and overlooking just blending with the trees that we've got in front now this house is not only what you see but also the plot right in front of us belongs to this house so nothing ever can be built and no views can be obstructed in this property so you will always have the same views as today 10,000 square meters guys that's a lot of space to have in your house and a lot of possibilities and opportunities of what you can do with it I mean look at all these grass what we really miss in Spain in some houses is just grass where your children can play around this is a fantastic space which I think this house just covers very well now let's step back through this small passage leading us into another space I'm just gonna show you guys from here there is another space you can step up three stairs up and you get even more lush gardens and greenery connected with this house and all very private because there is just this road right above which is hedged over us so nobody can really overlook into this house now here as you probably have noticed we have covered terrace which belongs to one of the bedrooms on this floor so now let's step back inside to explore the rest of the inside continuing with the tour let's step into the second official living room which is just over through here Dima step in with me and I show everybody this original design of a formal living room here is a place where you would probably invite your guests as well you have the fireplace the tv the sonar system gorgeous art pieces and now Dima let's show everybody this piece this painting we've seen in one of the houses we've toured about what five six seven months ago yes Más o menos. Más o menos. A small tip, it was in Javia. If you know which house we saw this painting, it was actually in the intro of the video. Let us know in the comments below and we'll give you a big heart if you guess or if you know. And now following through the surround living area continues with an access to the terrace. Love this furniture. In fact, how it's these sitting areas connected with the table over here so a very convenient space now coming out through here you have the gorgeous staircase leading you up into the second floor also you have another staircase right behind this door which leads us down into the cinema room the spa zone and much more which we are not going to give you any more spoilers you're about to see very soon now stepping through Dima let's walk into this space which is your first bedroom with an ensuite bathroom plenty of storage and a nice dark design now following through in this corridor lovely decorations on the wall for those who love a little bit of brands this is definitely going to be something you will like here is even some more brands we've got prada we've got gucci anything you wish really another gray design of a bedroom leading us into the side of the property walk-in little wardrobe and an ensuite bathroom again with the marble throughout if i didn't mention before and i think i didn't excuse me for that we've got marble flooring throughout the whole of the house so it's actually lovely contrasting with the oak and dark wood furniture which was chosen into the interior of this property now we've stepped into the third bedroom of this floor and my favorite bedroom of this floor guess why what a beautiful color we've got here pink details we've got the chanel flamingo over here even these little touches just everything is super girly and beautiful the soft backdrop nicely contrasting with this pinky wall plaster plenty of space and storage throughout now a lovely makeup area with natural light so you can't go wrong when you're doing your makeup very important for us ladies and now here you have this small terrace which we saw when we were outside 
Now let's transport ourselves back into the landing so we can continue with our tour and the second level of the property. Now the midsection between the two levels, what a gorgeous large window which is bringing all the slide into this midsection and this whole second floor landing. As soon as you step through, you have the sitting area in case you wanna check yourself out before you go into your guest, into your living space. Now on this level, we have two bedrooms. The first one is on my left hand side. Again, we've got the dark tones furniture, the ensuite bathroom with the marble and the terrace on my right hand side from where you can actually see the street level for a change so you can see everybody who's pulling up at your property. Overall, I love this room, but what I'm the most excited about is the main bedroom. Let's go and check it out. And the master bedroom of the house. This room is divided into three sections. And let's start from the first section, which is your walk-in wardrobe. Pretty generous size. I love how bright this space is. Plenty of wooden cabinetries and let's check out what is inside of them because i heard that there might be something interesting Vamos. some festive vibes for all of you guys who celebrate christmas this year for me and the whole of my team we would like to wish you a very merry christmas and a happy new year it has been a fantastic journey this year for us and we would like to thank everybody involved and we'll be seeing you in the new year and now let's get back to the wardrobe Love these gentle decorations, the sitting area with the glass table. Dima, can you come over? Let's show everybody. Also, this space opens up into the side of the property, into all the green trees, so you can breathe in the oxygen whilst you are preparing for a night out. Now, let's step further and going through. I am proud to present you this incredible and sweet bathroom of your master bedroom. What do you think about the size of the space? Let us know down in the comments below. I'm really curious actually for your opinion about a bathroom like this. What I also really like is how this marble wraps up and reaches the midsection of the wall. I think it looks really fantastic together with all these decorations. Here we have suspended bidet and suspended toilet, a towel rack, and on the opposite side, lovely vanity setup with two sinks. So definitely a fantastic and sweet bathroom. And now we are stepping into your master bedroom of the house. The bathroom is basically just a little teaser for what this room has to offer. You have your private fireplace, the Sonos system, the TV, two windows opening up into the incredible sea views, two seating areas. We have got the bed right in the middle with the wallpaper behind, lovely light fixtures on both sides of the bed. On the left hand side, you have some plants to bring in some color into the space. And on the opposite side, you've got your private and entrance where or exit. You can both exit and enter in this door into your private terrace. Dima, let's step through. Voila! How about a space like this? Enjoy a glass of wine with the incredible views, sunrise and overlooking all of the La Quinta. Ben Havis, right in front of you, you've got the La Concha mountain. If you haven't dined the climb so yet, make sure to do so. I've heard it's amazing. I must say, I haven't done it myself. We must embark on this journey, Dima. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> That's what I like, a little bit of enthusiasm. We are gonna go there tomorrow. Let's cancel all the shoots. <laughs> and now, long awaited for, level minus one, where we've got the cinema room and all the entertainment areas. Vamos. And here we are reaching the landing of this level, which connects you directly with your garage. You have this picture window here where you can observe what is happening in the garage. If all the cars are still there, 
for sure they would be because here we have a security and alarm system 24 7 not only in this house but also in the whole community and now let's step into my favorite room of this house which is the cinema now let's start from this interesting furniture which is of course the furniture made for the cinema room dima come in closely so we can show everybody the design you can basically make yourself very comfortable voila do you see the seat rising you can get into any position you desire and get all nice and cozy and comfortable whilst watching your favorite film how nice is that and now another fantastic technology guys so let's step here what a modern way to set the tone for your cinema please come close Jim. let's show everybody these buttons we have here welcome the second one let's watch a film let's have a drink goodbye at the moment we are on all lights on now let's see what's gonna happen when i click let's watch a film all the lights went off and now we have total darkness let's step back on so we can turn on some lights so you can guys see the exciting bar how about having a bar like this in your own home cinema where you can prepare a nice glass of wine or a nice margarita whilst watching your favorite movie how does that sound Dima? please pina colada no problem let me just reach out and make some nice cocktails anybody else would like a drink if yes no problem we'll have it all nice and ready here and of course you can also order your favorite movie now Dima step through over into this zone so we can show everybody these open shelvings as well as of course the wine cooler which opens as we love with one click and showing us all the gorgeous blue LED lights 13 degrees in the wine color a good temperature for your wines here we also have an ice maker so of course Dima would be getting his pina colada nice and fresh even in hot summer days of course you can also automatically open all the curtains all the lights turn on everything is basically controlled automatically in this space and if you don't want to enjoy the automatic furniture right in front and stay nice and comfortable alone here is a perfect place to do so now we would really like to know what you guys think about this home cinema would you prefer to enjoy your favorite movie in this home cinema or in your bed what is it that you prefer let us know down in the comments and whilst you type that we will make our way into the gymnasium and here we are a place to keep your mind and body healthy You've got plenty of equipment here and also you have an access into your internal courtyard which is connecting us with the bedrooms which we have on the opposite side shall we go and check them out vamos now whilst we're walking to see the bedrooms of this floor let's check out another space where you get nice and healthy sweat out all the toxins which is your private dry sauna on my left hand side another powder bathroom and now walking through here here we have an empty room which you could use as an office or anything that you might potentially want or need and now stepping through forward here on my right hand side you have another double bedroom with same gray furniture as we saw upstairs and an ensuite bathroom and the last bedroom of this floor would be again the double bedroom with the ensuite bathroom a small walk-in wardrobe and access to your internal courtyard terrace which okay is at the moment closed let's use another door and i'll meet you guys out there and here we are this internal yard connects the gymnasium the corridor and the last bedroom of this level here you basically have a small chilling area which you can also enjoy when being on the lower part of the house 
And with that, we come to the end of the tour for today. Let us know down in the comments below what you thought about this house. As always, I would love to hear all of you guys one more time. Merry Christmas. Hopefully coming into the new year, we'll be touring more beautiful properties in Spain and not just in Spain. So if you want to see us tour more houses, make sure to subscribe, leave us a like, and I'll be seeing you in the next upcoming tours in the new year. Bye.